Every family has their own holiday traditions, and for one Buchanan man, well, he spent months making Christmas ornaments for a fallen hero's tree. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett shows us what he's planning for this special tribute. Red and blue ornaments cover Bill Price's dining room table. But once Halloween is over, that's when we go, okay, time to start ordering stars and, and get painting. Hundreds of stars. 208 to be exact. Red for firefighters, blue for law enforcement. Names written in Sharpie of every fallen hero, police, fire, and canine who's died in the line of duty this year. So on the front is their name, uh, the end of watch, the date they, 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 they died, and on the back is the department they were with. Price, a firefighter with the Buchanan Volunteer Fire Department, will decorate a Christmas tree with these stars to sit outside the station over the holidays. A tradition Price started four years ago after he lost his dad, a retired police officer. The first year somebody you've lost somebody is the hardest. So he wanted to make it a little easier for other families going through the same thing. You know, it may be their first Christmas. They may have an empty place at the table this year, um, but they're not forgotten. The toughest part is the stars keep piling up. When you think you're done, you go to bed and you wake up the next morning and there's another police officer who's been shot or killed in the line of duty, a car accident, you know, responding to a call, or a firefighter who was supposed to take his family to Disneyland, you know, and he was killed in a fire the night before. This year's tree will be a little harder to decorate. His uh, name is Lieutenant John Kennedy. Price's friend died over the summer. July 20th, he died from a cardiac arrest. This Sunday, Price, his family, and the community will hang the stars and light the tree together. I, I got you, buddy. I'll, I'll get you on there, so I'm going to make sure he's on the front for me this year. Shining a spotlight on their sacrifices. In Buchanan, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. And that tree lighting ceremony will take place at 7 p.m. this Sunday outside the Buchanan Volunteer Fire Department, and the tree will stay lit through January 1st.